Professor Dave and Chegg here. We've learned about a number of addition reactions we can perform on alkenes, but there are other reactions that alkenes can do as well. Let's learn about how we can cleave alkenes by various methods now. First, we will look at a reaction called ozonolysis. This is a useful way to break a carbon-carbon double bond. As one might guess, when performing ozonolysis, the key reagent will be ozone. This is an allotrope of oxygen with the structure O3, so it is triatomic oxygen. If we depict this as a discrete resonance structure, it would be this zwitter ion here, with a positive charge here and a negative charge here, although we certainly could draw a composite resonance structure as well. The first step utilizes ozone in dichloromethane, and the second step involves zinc and acetic acid. Ozonolysis operates on alkenes, and it results in cleavage of the double bond. This means the two carbons get pulled apart, and then, in this case, each of them becomes a carbonyl carbon. So depending on the degree of substitution of the alkene, we could end up with aldehydes, or ketones, or one of each. Of course, this will be the case if the starting material is linear. If the starting material is cyclic, the ring will open up and we will end up with one long linear molecule, with two carbonyls a bit apart. When predicting the products of an ozonolysis reaction, remember that no carbon atoms are lost or gained, so the product or products must have the same number of carbon atoms as the starting material. Besides this, we simply pull the molecule apart at the double bond, tack on carbonyls, and that's the reaction. Some applications include transforming terminal alkenes into aldehydes, such as we see here. It will be important to practice drawing both products and reactants, given some information about a reaction. Let's practice a bit now. Here we see a reactant with the product missing, and a different product with the reactant missing. Going in the forward direction, once again, we just cleave this double bond and tack on some carbonyls. Make sure to number your carbons if you are having trouble visualizing this. Then going in the reverse direction, we just take the two carbonyls and sort of smush them together. The carbonyl carbons used to be the carbons in the pi bond, so in order to determine the structure of the reactant, we just identify the carbonyl carbons and link them together by a double bond. Lastly, we should note that we have been discussing ozonolysis of alkenes in the context of reductive workup, that being the step with zinc, which can also be achieved with dimethyl sulfide. This is the more common context for ozonolysis, but we should mention that oxidative workup is also possible. This would entail using something like hydrogen peroxide for the second step instead, and the result would mean that anywhere we expected an aldehyde, we will now get a carboxylic acid. So given this example, we know we are going to get two fragments as products, the first being a ketone, as previously expected, but now the other fragment, which would have been an aldehyde under reductive workup, will now be the corresponding carboxylic acid. Let's check out one more method of cleaving alkenes. Potassium permanganate in neutral or acidic solution and in hot conditions will also cleave carbon-carbon double bonds to give carbonyl-containing products. And because it is such a good oxidizing agent, where we would expect an aldehyde in the context of ozonolysis, we will get either a carboxylic acid or carbon dioxide, depending on how many hydrogens are on that particular carbon. A similar reaction can be performed by first enacting dihydroxylation to get a vicinal diol, followed by reaction with periotic acid, or HiO4. This will cleave the bond between the two carbons that bear the hydroxyls by a rather interesting mechanism involving a cyclic periodate intermediate and yielding either two smaller compounds if the starting material was linear or a linear dicarbonyl compound if the starting material was cyclic. With that, we have learned a few great ways to perform cleavage of alkenes, those being ozonolysis, and reaction with either potassium permanganate or periotic acid. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.